Hi, this is Karthik. In this video, I will explain you how to install WordPress in your WAMP server. It is very easy and you can follow the same procedure for XAMPP also. If you are using XAMPP server also, you can follow the same thing. So, without any delay, let's get started. And before going to the main video, please subscribe, like and share my videos. Now, this is the WAMP server. Make sure you, you have installed a WAMP or XAMPP server and run it and it is running and make sure for that for in my case I'm using WAMP server so it is showing green color in icon in the system tray and in the browser localhost is open without any issues so next thing is go to Google and search for WordPress download and click enter then click on this first link which are get got in the results so here in when I am recording this video the latest version is WordPress 6.1 you can download any version uh, whichever you see at the time of setting up this procedure just click on it okay and here the download process has started and it finished also let's close this window now go to downloads and copy this zip file to right click copy then go to C go to VAMP64 go to www folder and paste it inside it ok so now we got the zip file here now what we have to do is right click and click on extract here with the WinRare. I am using WinRare you can use if you are using any other software for uh, zip files use that one but you have to extract the contents inside the www folder. So now here the WordPress folder is created and the data is extracted inside it. Okay. It is not mandatory that you should name the folder name as WordPress only. If you want, you can change it also. But remember what you have named it. It's almost done. Okay, now it is extracted to this folder. Now what I have to do is we can delete this one. So we got WordPress folder here. Now we can close this folder also. No need. Next, go to PHP My Admin in your local server. That is WAMP or XAMPP servers. Go to PHP My Admin. Then create a new database and name it as WordPress. This is also not mandatory to name the same as WordPress. You can do anything then inside this UTF you have to select a schema for this for this UTF 8 uh, general CI then click on create okay now the WordPress database has been created here but it has it doesn't have any tables in, uh, it is an empty database okay now what I have to do is you can close this you can close the PHP my admin now go to localhost then we have copied WordPress to WordPress folder so this is the location click on enter automatically the WordPress installation will be started and it will ask to select the language okay it's your wish you can select any language as per your need in my case I am selecting English then click on continue then click click on let's go before clicking on let's go make sure that you know the database name you know the database username and database, database password and database host okay 
so you have to know all these things uh, beforehand before going to the next step so after knowing all these things click on next uh, i mean let's go button then here database name you have to enter whatever you have created there i in my case i am enter i have created a wordpress database with the name as wordpress then for vamp server the username will be root and password will be blank and database host will be local host itself and you have to uh, give a table prefix by default wp underscore will be there you can leave it like that only then click on submit so now it should say like this okay uh, you are made through this part of installation wordpress can now communicate with your database so as we have entered all correct details the wordpress has connected to the database so it is uh, saying that only if you get any error please make sure you have given the correct credentials for that then click on run the installation so now it will ask for a site title so i am entering it as smart dev coder and username as karthik 2 m and password you can give anything here i am entering as 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay then you have to give your email then click on install wordpress see this confirm password use of weak password is not mandatory okay as i am entered just 1 2 3 4 5 6 it is asking like that then click on install wordpress see make sure you remember the username and password and email which you have given in this setup okay because without that you cannot uh, log into your admin so install wordpress and we have to wait for a few seconds to minutes until this process completed okay success now wordpress has been installed so before going to log into the admin panel we will see whether it is installed or not so we will again open local host slash but beforehand don't forget to add http colon forward slash local host forward slash wordpress and press enter now we should see our live website live in the sense in our local server that is the vamp server so you can see that the tab has got that name which we have given as smart dev coder now we can see the demo website is created okay now go to login here then enter the username then enter the password one two three four five six then click on login sorry username is wrong karthik two double atm and password is one two three four five six now click on login now we should enter the admin panel successfully so now you can see we have successfully entered the wordpress dashboard that is admin panel so you can literally you can do anything with this wordpress that you can do on a live server i hope you enjoyed this video thing if you want to access your vamp server in your all your devices which are connected to your wi-fi network that is your android phone or in your iphone or ipad or any another desktop or laptop so any other device which is connected to same network and having a browser you can access the vamp server if you want to know how to do it I have given the link in the description of this video please check it out about how to open vamp server in your mobile device okay thank you very much for watching my video till the end i truly appreciate if you subscribe to my channel like and share my videos this is karthik signing off
Thank you.